All right, Pizza Tomorrow Summit 2022 was a success. Glenn's back. We're going to talk about what happened this year because there was some stuff that happened weather related that was out of our control. And we're yeah. going to talk a little bit about the show next year because it's going to be happening again. Uh, we'll give out the dates and uh, a little bit of info about that show. So, Glenn, welcome back to the podcast. Thanks for having me back. It's uh, it's great to be here. I don't know. If, I think it's backwards on the screen, but I, I I broke back. That's my souvenir from from the show. I had them chop the top of a sign off and mail it to me, so I have. Now I have a proper like background for when I do these kinds of things. I love it. No, it actually looks perfect <laughs> for me. It's written perfectly for me, so it must be just. Oh, good, me. good. It's it's backwards on on my view, but as long as you can see it straight, that that's all I care about. So, so yeah, it was great. We yeah, we we uh, time. it was great to have you there. It was a lot of fun. We got to enjoy some some extra wind and rain, which was which was a real trip and a half. So I got some statistics because right. this is. It's hysterical for those who are who are listening in here, watching, and don't know. Uh, we were graced with a, a hurricane uh, during the during the show, which was always fun to have uh, everyone getting a hurricane warning uh, as you're about to run a show for the first time. I, I loved it; it was so exciting. Uh, yes, that was sarcastic, but um, you know, we picked we picked November for Orlando because you know it just hurricanes don't happen in November in Orlando. So here's some numbers since 1935. So that's, that's over the course of what? 87 years. Yeah. Almost a hundred. Yeah. Prior to this, this year, twice (laughs) in 87 years, the last time was 1985, 37 years ago was the last time a hurricane had hit Orlando in November. And, uh, Hey, look, you know, now we had hurricane Nicole come through during our show. And, uh, if there's ever going to tell you how, uh, how good you are, it's, uh, it's getting through that and still putting some people in the building. So we had, we actually managed to do that. Just When's, fine. What's the date of next year's show? Is it in November again? Yeah. Yeah. So, so I, mean, I figure listen, we're... The, st- the statistically likelihood of another hurricane happening in November next year is very slim. <laughs> knock on wood, you yeah, know. Knock on wood right now. If you, if you uh, I mean, now. you know, this, this had been 37 years, so I figure we should we, we should be okay. But yeah, right. so next year, uh, next year in November 8th and 9th, uh, back at the Orange County Convention Center in Orlando, um, we're moving down the building a little bit. We're going to be in uh, West Hall B uh, next year. We need a little more space. We needed a little more infrastructure, some natural gas for some of our. Uh, oven guys which we for whatever reason weren't able to get in the in the hall we were in this year um but it's pretty central in that west building so uh, makes it convenient to even even more hotels which is good yeah uh, the west building is the the main building it's the first building yeah it's the, it's the quote unquote old, old building but it's all been renovated you know over the years so there's nothing really old about it anymore but uh but yeah so uh, the 8th and 9th and uh, and we're changing the start time uh, one of the one of the things uh, you have to do when you're when you're running events like this is is listen to your customers. Um, and if you don't listen to your customers, you're making a critical mistake. And one of the things we heard loud and clear is, yeah, nine o'clock's a little early for us to kind of come to a show. Got it. So we're shifting it to ten o'clock. Uh, so we'll open up at uh, ten o'clock this year. It was funny because we were going to do the ribbon cutting this year. And, uh, you know, of course, then we were also sweating out what's going on with this hurricane. We had meetings and updates, weather service, the whole thing. And uh, they're like, you got to come cut the ribbon. I'm like, oh, OK, it's the last thing I, I want to do right this second. But OK, they went out to the lobby and like looked around. And it's like tumbleweeds. Oh, no, please don't tell me this was a mistake. Um, you know, clipped the ribbon. And then sh- shortly, you know, sh- shortly after that, people started kind of coming in and, uh, and it was mobbed that first day. It was a really good crowd of people. Yeah, which was, I think uh, it was from great. like 11, uh, no, 1030 to 330, 4 o'clock mm-hmm. the first day. It was pretty crowded. Yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was great. You know, and uh, the feedback uh, we've gotten post show from, from both sides has been, has been really terrific. You know, the, the, the goal coming in here was to, to, to kind of put a stake in the ground and say, hey, you know, we're the new kids in town and we're going to do something different uh, and give people an option on the East Coast that doesn't look like anything that they've seen before and um, deliver a whole bunch of great educational content and do it on the show floor, keeping everything in one room. It was a home run. Everyone really dug that. And, uh, and it was fun, you know, with the yeah. live music and the, and the T-shirt giveaways and, the, and all of that stuff was, you know, just 
pile on fun stuff that we did and people people really loved it but um so i'm i'm looking forward to doing it again next year i had a fun time like i i had uh, a booth there and i was doing interviews and i actually like that more than anything else it's the yeah, it's who, fun, and it was it was great to see a lot of the uh, uh, the speaker presenters that were uh, at the show in there uh, doing podcast with you, which was uh, which is great to see. You know everyone, yeah, like you literally know everyone. I've been doing this for a long time, so if it's in the <laughs> pizza community, I've either talked to them or yeah. messaged them or communicated with them some way somehow. So, well, we're going to do it again next year over time. Yeah, well, hopefully you're uh, you're going to come back with us again next year, putting you on the spot here. Yeah, yeah, I think I already said I would, so I, I'm yeah, looking forward to that. If I can do the same kind of setup, I would totally do it. Now that you've done it once, not that I, not that I didn't believe you or didn't have trust in you, yeah. uh, because I know you've done events before. This has just happened to be your first pizza related one. But now that I kind of know what to expect and what to do, I think it's going to be ten times better next year. Obviously, I don't think the weather will be a factor. I've been to, I've been to Florida, no lie. 50 times in my life, yeah. maybe more. That was my first hurricane I've ever experienced in Florida. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's, next uh, year with the booth, the way it had set up, like I'm going to really do a, try to get as many interviews in as I can and just kind of hang out in that area. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Well, um, I, I think that next year we've got, we've got such a great foundation. Uh, and that was, you know, another one of the goals this year was to pour a really great foundation and build a palace on top of it. Yeah. And, uh, and, and we accomplished that despite, despite the weather, um, some statistics that are, are, are fun to talk about when I was referencing, uh, when we were talking just before we jumped on here about, uh, the quality of the audience being really critically important. Um, a lot of, a lot of event organizers really force out there the importance of volume Right. Uh, and, and the volume doesn't really matter as much. It, it really it really doesn't. It's nice to have it. Aisle density is great. And we certainly had that uh, on day one of the show before, you know, day two and the hurricane actually made landfall. Um, but but here's some numbers that are that we just finished doing an audit. Forty six percent of the folks that attended this show were owner operator. Forty six percent. That is a big, big number. 25% were, were pizza makers, pizza iolos, chefs, and sous chefs. So that's basically three quarters of our audience. Okay. I mean, and that was the feedback we got from like Galbani, for example. You know, if you're in the pizza world, you know who Galbani is. They went on and on and on about having not seen this kind of quality in a very long time. So uh, that's what we're building the house on. Is yeah. the quality I think that's that what happened with the weather, right? It probably it probably cut out all the people who weren't potential customers of these vendors. Mm -hmm. It was just the serious people who were in business who already planned to go, and for the most part, they were in Florida anyway. What else are you going to do? The right. hurricane wasn't that bad. It was you know, a hurricane, but it was mild in the in the hurricane form. But... Yeah, and that was that was something we heard from a lot of the uh, uh, the folks from Florida were saying, you know. Because just before that, um, they had Hurricane Ian, which was uh, a month and a half or so before. And that one was bad. That, yeah, was, that was a bad hurricane. That was in se September. Uh, and a lot of damage, and, and people were, were kind of shell-shocked. You know, that was still fresh on their brain. And, uh, and that, that had a big impact you know, on, on people you know, leaving their house. And so when the, when the media was doing the media things and saying, shelter in place, don't leave, stay off the roads, ah, all that stuff. Uh, people were, were taking heed because uh, these guys down there, they, they generally power through no matter what. Uh, I think it was Bruno. Uh, it was Bruno from Pizza Bruno in Orlando. And uh, he said, even in a hurricane, pizza prevails. <laughs> it sure did that day, that's for sure. <laughs> so, yeah, it was, uh, it, it, was, it was pretty great. So, We've already started on 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 doing everything for for next year. It's uh it's a real testament to what what we got accomplished this year to see folks who are with us already signing up to exhibit for for next year. Um, we've already got uh, sixty five booths on the show floor, and and we didn't hit that number until like July first. Wow, how many booths total are there? drawn on the show floor it's drawn to be double the size that it was last year how many were there in this year this past year uh this past year we were at 215 i think oh wow something like that 
Uh, so, so we're expecting to be over 400. <laughs> I'm sure there's so. a lot of people who were like me who were like hesitant because it was your first year and they were like, let's see what happens. I know Stanislaus, who's a uh, sponsor of this podcast was there. They mm-hmm. didn't have a booth, but they sent uh, Brady who I've talked to in the past mm-hmm. and she was kind of just scoping it out. She's like, wow, I'm surprised that she was pleasantly surprised at the turnout there. So I know that. They yeah. Were- and we've, and we've had some conversations with her since. So yeah. There's a lot of, and she's not the only one. We had a bunch of folks uh, come to, to see it and they were impressed and the feedback has been really good. So, uh, so yeah, you know, onward and upward, bigger and better next year. Uh, all the fun stuff is coming back. Our, our musical trio who was playing uh, at the entrance will be back in uh, this next go around. They're going to be doing more strolling uh, around the show, which is fun. Yeah. Uh, the t-shirt giveaway was a, was, a, was a big, uh, a big win. Everybody loved those. We gave away a thousand of those suckers. I mean, I gave you one, but I, I, I don't think it's fitting you. you no, know, I gave it to uh, my kids. It was too, it was yeah, too small yeah. for me. But... Uh, you're, Cause you're, it doesn't come across in the screen. If you don't know, if you know, don't know Bruce, Bruce is a big dude. Like you're a big dude. I didn't expect you to be that, that, that tall. So <laughs> you know, I handed you like this little dollhouse t-shirt, like here, wear this kid. You know, it didn't My work out. My kids are repping it for you, though. They're 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 uh, they're out there with their friends wearing it and representing the Pizza Tomorrow Summit. So yeah, you know, survive the hurricane. All I got is this lousy T-shirt. <laughs> is yeah. there anything that you're changing for next year? Like, is there anything that you said? You know what? I think I'm going to do this differently next year, or uh, something that surprised you from this year's show. Um. The, well, yeah. There's a few changes. Uh, I mentioned that we're changing the start time. Uh, yep. I mentioned that we're moving uh, down the to the middle of the building into into west hall b uh we're also going to add more uh education on the show floor uh we had uh, a couple of education theaters we need one more um so we're gonna we're gonna ramp up the the content because that was something that people really loved and we had a great great panel of presenters at the show this year and Mm -hmm. the sessions that they did uh were really well received and uh, what I like about it is everybody was kind of like minded in what they did. Uh, my only ask when I was was, you know, recruiting these guys was give these folks something that's easily actionable and they can do it right away. Like they can yeah. walk out the door, take it back to their shop and do it. Um, and they did. They, they delivered that kind of content, which was uh, which was great. So we're going to do even more of it. You know, uh, it was helpful for, for me uh, talking to the people who were there and someone who is like a. Uh does the podcast and everything. It, it, I, it was good to see that sometimes I feel like these presenters overcomplicated a little bit and they don't get back right. to basics. And a lot of the people who were at the show were either like either just starting their marketing journey or, you know, they've been in business for a few years and they're looking to expand. But mm-hmm. it's the one thing that was apparent to me, if you're listening to this as a restaurant owner is there's still time to like use social media and market your business and dominate your market. So don't think that because there's so many pizzerias out there, there's not time. It was a, it was a, apparent to me that like, there's still, we're still early in this, in this growth of the pizza industry and this marketing game. So that was something that really stuck out to me from the people who were there. Yeah. The social, the social aspects of this industry has been really uh, impressive uh, for me to witness. Um, you know, I'm, I'm new to the pizza space, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm not new to doing, doing events and food service, but but being this dialed into pizza is has been a newer thing for me, um, and the fact that that this group um, is so tightly knit, yeah, uh, everybody knows everybody, um, and the engagement on social media is 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 off the charts. If you're not if you're an owner operator and you're not using social media, uh, you're really missing out and. Uh, and I, and I think it's probably hard to manage like all of the social medias. I mean, yeah. you find the, find the one that works for you and just crush it. Yeah. Um, when we first started ours, I was like, okay, well, we've got to do all the socials. We got to do all the socials. And then I would see that we've got a lot of activity here. We don't, and the person that's doing our social, I'm like, Hey, you know, we haven't tweeted in a long time and Hey, there's nothing on LinkedIn in a while, but Oh, well you got four on this one and not on that one. And, the engagement was just all over the place. And it was finally when we brought on um, Jerry, yeah. uh, which was over the summer, like late in the game, we got Jerry. Uh, she kind of reeled us in and was like, look, this is people are gravitating to Instagram. So we're going to run with that. We've got, we'll do some Facebook, but Instagram is, seems to be the sweet spot. It's great. And yep. her, her, it was, I mean, it was triple digit increases in engagement. 
uh, percentage wise, uh, and sometimes quadruple, like how do you have a 1400%? I didn't even know that percentage existed. Uh, but once, once you dial in to, to the social media that works best for you, stick with it. Yep. Um, it really, it's, it's, this is a, this is a whole new world order for me. Uh, and I'm really excited to be on board with it now. That's cool. So uh, do you know who the speakers are next year? Not yet. Uh, we're just starting that. Uh, people are kind of getting back and uh, holidays and and all that stuff. So that's the that's the the item up number one uh, for after the first of the year is to start uh, reeling everyone in. But everyone that did it this year was like, hey, you know, I'd love to come back. Yeah. So uh, that's why we got to add another education theater because we got more people that we got to bring in. Well. I announced on my podcast that I'm not doing any more speaking events, so your event may be the only one I do in 2023. Oh, sweet. That's because I gave you the T-shirt that doesn't fit. That's right. I'm, I, need a, I need a regular size one, so I need to redo it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's great. Well, look, uh, I, I think that what you did uh, at the show was great. Um, your interview with, uh, with Chef Billy Manzo was great. Was I think you were, you were on a panel or two. Um, and plus, you know, the smart pizza marketing studio was, uh, was pretty cool too. So uh, we'll definitely do all that again, uh, next year. And I'm psyched that you're, uh, you're coming back. I like it. I think that, uh, yeah, I like, I like Orlando, you know, I like the location and, um, it's, it's a family friendly event where, you know, I can come with my family to Orlando and do the show for a couple of days and work and then take a couple of days and enjoy the warmer weather that happens in November down there. I think, but. Was it you? I, I, I think it was you that either tweeted or, or put on Instagram. Uh, and it was a picture of like it was pouring and the trees were leaning oh, sideways. Yeah. And he said, come to Orlando. The weather will be great, they said. <laughs> yeah, that was true. <laughs> I know a ton of people in Florida and all of them were like, listen, it's going to be fine. Relax. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then I, w- I woke up in, the, in my hotel room. I opened the door in the morning and the trees were like, not sideways, yeah. but it was pretty windy at six o'clock yeah, in the yeah. morning. Yeah. I was like, wow, I don't know if this show's gonna happen. And then all of a sudden, nine o'clock it just started to kind of settle down and by mm-hmm. I think by two o'clock in the afternoon it was gone. Yeah, it was pretty much it was pretty much gone. But uh, you know, at that point everyone was already like, Oh, well, I'm not <laughs> leaving the house. So yeah, it was great. Uh, like, yeah, it was I like can't fun. uh what's uh what we were kind of talking about afterwards, uh, we went out to, to dinner after uh, the show closed. Uh, like how, wow, if it was this great, uh, with a hurricane sitting on us, I can only imagine what it would have been had it not been for that. I mean, they shut the airport down. Uh, so a lot of people who were, who were going to be flying into the show couldn't, um, and also look, and then, you know, an independent operator can't afford to get stuck in Orlando. So a lot of people had to decide, you know what, shoot, I can't do it because I can't be away risk being away for five days. That's the whole purpose of coming to Florida because it's close and I can be in and out nice and quick. So, um, next year it's going to be bonkers and, uh, we're we're really looking forward to it. I am too. So we'll have to do another podcast as we get closer. As soon as you figure out the schedule and who the speakers are and uh, what's going to be happening. We'll do another podcast and kind of let everybody know. I'm sure I'll be mentioning it. I'm going to really start to promote this great um, as my only event. So if you want to come hang out with me at an yeah. event, it's going to be my only one that I do in 2023. So that's great. And I'll, and I'll work on uh, making my room darker, get some like purple lighting effects so that I can be more like in stereo with you here. Cause I'm I feel like I'm on the surface of the I sun. Like the contrast, and you, though. It makes it stand out a little bit better. So yeah, I'm surface should. of the sun and your dark side of the moon. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, Glenn is any, is the sign up sheet already there for next year? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, other than registration uh, okay. for, for attendance that won't go live until over, over the summer, but, uh, but yeah, you can still, if you want to, uh, to exhibit with us, all the information is on our website, pizza tomorrow.com. Uh, click on the uh, exhibitor link and everything you need is right there. And to probably follow you guys on Instagram for more uh, timely updates, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. There's, that's going to be flowing nonstop. Okay. All right, cool. Glenn, thank you so much. I had a blast. Thanks for inviting me. I'm looking forward to next year. And uh, awesome. we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for having me on. Bye, everybody.